Hey kids of Gospel Light, today's puppet show is based off of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And these are my mother's life verses. Thinking of her brings back some sweet memories and some times of cooking in the kitchen. Today's puppet show is called Follow the Recipe. Come on inside. Hey kids, welcome back to another exciting lesson. I'm Josh. And I'm Pascal. Welcome to Creative Cooking. What kind of name is that? Boring. Uh, well, it was the best I could come up with. Creative Cooking, it's not that bad. Oh yeah, hey kids, welcome to Boring Hour with Stupid Names starring blah blah blah. I got a better idea. Do you? Roll it again! Hey boys and girls, welcome back to another exciting lesson. I'm Josh. And I'm Welcome to Once Upon a Chef. N no. And I'm Pascal. Welcome to Shakers and Bakers. Shakers and Bakers, no. Welcome back to We Will Bake You a Cake As Fast As You Can, So Run Because I Am The Gingerbread Man. Welcome back to Burnt Offerings, starring Josh Winston. Oh, come on. That is not... And welcome back to Delectable Dishes? Yay! I like that one. That's pretty good. Let's do it. Hey kids, welcome back to another exciting lesson. I'm Josh. And I'm Pascal. And welcome to Delectable Dishes! We're excited to have you here today. We're going to be making my mother's famous chocolate chip cookie recipe and have a Bible story tied into it. You want to help me out today, Pascal? Yeah, yeah. Today we're going to be making chocolate chip cookies. And there's all kinds of different ways and different ingredients you can use to get your perfect flavor or style of chocolate chip cookies. Some people like them thin and crispy. Some like them soft and chewy. Looks like you like yours thick and often. That is inappropriate. Seriously, there are kids watching. Pascal, get it together. You're right. To make the perfect chocolate chip cookies, you got to start with a good recipe. And today, we'll be following my mother's famous recipe on the board. What is the first ingredient? All right, we've got our large mixing bowl and our ingredients. Let's start off with two eggs right here. One sunny side up, one scrambled with cheese. No, Pascal. No, no, no. We have to break them and add them to the ingredients we're making chocolate chip cookies. I'm not cooking you breakfast. But, but I want to do it my way. Well, if we do it your way, we're going to end up with something totally different. We've got to follow the recipe. Trust me on this one. Excellent. All right, we've got the eggs, and now what's next? Three-fourths cup sugar. Sugar? Yes, please. All right, we've got the sugar. What's next? One stick of butter. I got it. Oh. Oh. Uh, Pascal, you seem to have a hard time with that. I, I can't get it. I can't pick it up. <laughs> You're not using your hands. You must be a Cowboys fan. All right, what's next, Pascal? One teaspoon vanilla. Ooh, okay. I like vanilla. Let's add some more. No, no, no. We gotta stick to the recipe. We change the recipe, we'll get a different result. One teaspoon is what it's called for, and one teaspoon is what it's getting. Looks like we've got two cups of flour. No, Pascal, wrong flowers. I know you're French, but come on. You can help me with the real stuff, though. Come here. Thanks, Pascal. And, ooh, my favorite part, some chocolate chips. Yeah, 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 Can't have too much chocolate. Alright, we need to thoroughly mix our ingredients. And then once you've got some, you take off a small part, 
and just roll it in your hands to get the perfect shape. We're gonna grab our cooking pan, place it down here, and Pascal, the hardest part is making sure your cookie dough gets on the pan and not eaten by whoever's making cookie dough. Blah! Cookie dough is gross! Blah! Oh, oh, come on, cookie dough is the best part. No, 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 gross! <sighs> We have preheated our oven to 350 degrees and we're gonna cook our chocolate chip cookies for 12 minutes. All right, the worst part of baking, waiting for those cookies to get done. But while we're waiting, let's go ahead and take a look at our verse for our Bible lesson today. Oh, there it is. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Kids, read it along with me at home. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. These are my mom's favorite verses, and it reminds me of our cooking time today. Pascal, when we were making chocolate chip cookies, you wanted to mess with the recipe a little bit. And I told you the warning about messing a recipe is you might not get the outcome that you're looking for. For instance, you wanted to have a sunny side and a scrambled egg. You wanted to use double the vanilla, right? The wrong kind of flour. And so what happens is we stuck to the recipe and we're about to enjoy some really good chocolate chip cookies. God wants us, no matter how crazy the world is, to trust him. And so point number one today, kids, we need to understand we need to trust God. And Proverbs 3 verse 5 says, trust the Lord, not with some of your heart, not just on Sundays, not just a little bit, but God says with all your heart, trust him no matter what. So Pascal, what's the first thing we need to do on God's recipe of having a successful life? Trust God. We need to trust God. That's right. Number two, the Bible says, lean not unto thine own understanding. This was kind of what you were doing. And sometimes what we do in life is we want to change things. We want to say, yes, I want to have a godly family, but I don't want to do the work that takes. Yes, I want to have the blessings of God, but I'm not obeying God. I'm not reading my Bible. I'm not tithing. I want the blessings of God, but I'm not willing to trust him. I'm leaning to my own understanding. You know, Pascal, there's a lot of kids, and unfortunately, they want to do the world's way instead of God's way. And God wants us to trust him, and God wants us to not lean to our own understanding or listen to ourselves. We need to listen to God's words. Number one, we need to trust. Number two, we need to not listen to ourselves. Don't lean or don't go your way. In verse number six, it says, in all thy ways acknowledge him. God doesn't just want your Sundays. God doesn't just want your mornings where you have your devotions. God wants you to trust him for your whole life, and he wants to direct your ways. He wants you to acknowledge him. Acknowledge him means to recognize him or put him first and to let God dictate your life and let you know and lead you in the way that you should go. And then lastly, it says, and he shall direct thy paths. Pascal, if we follow the recipe, we're gonna get chocolate chip cookies. And if we follow God's plan for our lives, we're going to have success and happiness. It might not be the success and happiness that we thought of, but God's will is better than anything we could ever dream of. And we'll have the rewards in heaven. The Bible says that last part is he shall direct thy paths. Not one path, but all your paths. Not one day, but all your days. Trust God. Don't listen to yourself. Put God first. And then lastly, enjoy the results. I can say as from personal example that I'm enjoying the blessings of God in my life because of godly teachers and my parents who taught me to follow God's word and to listen to God's way. Follow the recipe. And then lastly, enjoy the success. Are you ready for some chocolate chip cookies? We would have never been able to enjoy that unless we follow the recipe. Kids, follow the recipe that God has for you. Get in scripture. Read your Bible. Trust the Lord. Don't listen to yourself. When you get older, don't listen to the world and your friends. But trust God and he shall direct your paths. And you're going to love what God has planned for you. Just as much as we're about to love some of these chocolate chip cookies. All right, it is time to check on the cookies. Pascal, you clean up. Two hours later.
Here they come. Yippee! Enjoy. What happened? What do you mean what happened? We have our chocolate chip cookies. What? Yeah. Oh. I wanted chocolate chip cookies. Oh, okay. Pascal, I'm sorry. I was pulling a little prank on you. While you were cleaning up, I switched out our cookies for some donuts. Now, I like donuts. You look like a donut. Seriously? Okay, Pasco, if we follow the recipe for chocolate chip cookies, there is no way that we're getting donuts. And kids, if you follow God's plan for your life, there is no way that you're going to regret the choices that you've made. God's going to bless you. Are you ready for some cookies? Let's get the right ones. All right, here we go. Here's our chocolate chip cookies. There you go. Ooh, I can't wait. Mm. 